Hey guys, I Device Help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys a few iPhone tips and tricks you probably didn't know existed. Things on your iPhone you probably didn't know your iPhone could do. Now I post these every month, at least once a month. You guys seem to enjoy these videos. So let me show you a few additional tricks you probably didn't know your iPhone could do. So first up, I'm going to show you how to remove the labels from the folders on your iPhone. As you can see there, I have no labels underneath the folders. This sort of matches the dock. It looks very clean. All you have to do is very simple. Links will be in the description. Head on over to this website here. Then you want to scroll down and click on select. This will prompt you to copy this text that you see right here. Click copy. And then we want to go ahead and edit the folder that we want to remove the label from. Open it up go into the text and simply paste that invisible text into the folder field right there, click done. And now we have clear folder labels on our devices. Again, this is something that makes your device look very, very clean. I like doing this a lot. Next, I wanna talk about the color temperatures on the display. As you can see here, this iPhone display with very rich white colors on the display. The dark colors are very dark and rich as well. And I always adjust the colors on the display of my iPhones because naturally, iPhone displays have this yellowish tint to them. Every time you set them up, as you can see here, this iPhone looks a lot darker or has this yellowish color to the display. And this one just looks crispy, clear, and white. I'm I'm gonna show you how to do that. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna head on over to display right here in brightness. Make sure True Tone is turned off. Then you wanna head on over to accessibilities. You wanna click on display and text size and you wanna scroll down to where it says filter. Now when you turn filters on, make sure you select right here color tint. You wanna bring this down to about 20% just about there. And at the hue, you wanna keep around 60%. So there approximately just right there this will give your device a filter that gives you true white colors and rich dark colors as well i prefer to do this as you can see they now match and they look a lot brighter in my opinion i prefer this next i want to talk about dark appearance wallpapers on your ios device so this is the wallpaper that i have right now links will be in the description if we head on over to wallpaper section in settings apple added a feature called dark appearance dim wallpaper this will actually dim the wallpaper according to the dark mode. So when you have dark mode enabled, you can turn this on and check it out. It will dim the wallpaper as well as the dock and the folders. The appearance of the folders are slightly darker. The dock looks slightly darker as well. And the wallpaper itself adjusts to a darker theme. Again, this is only for dark mode and Apple has adjusted this feature to be even darker with the latest iOS 13.4. So I wanna retouch uh, and talk about this feature because I did talk about it before. So there's the wallpaper right now. Again, if I go to the wallpaper section, apply that dark appearance to it and makes it even darker. Hopefully you guys can see that. There it is. So really cool option under wallpaper settings. Next, I'd like to talk about rearranging actions in iOS. This is possible. So if we go to the photos here and we click on the action button, we can scroll all the way down here and you'll find edit action. This allows you to move these actions in a particular order, or you can also remove some from the list. So you see right here, you can move them around just like so and you can add and remove actions from the list if you wish to do so as well. Not many users know that you can actually edit these actions. So the ones you use, you can place them at the top. The ones you don't use as much, you can remove them or place them further down to the bottom. Next, I wanna talk about the AirPods Pro and a noise cancellation. How to get noise cancellation with only one headphone. Now, of course, when you use noise cancellation is to cancel out noise, right? You use both at the same time. But if you wanna share one AirPod with someone else, one AirPod Pro that is, with someone else, noise cancellation being active on single headphones or single AirPods will actually improve the audio quality. At least for me, it does. And sometimes I do share my AirPods. So. If you can go here to accessibilities and we head on over to AirPods, this option right here, noise cancellation with one AirPod. So if you have one AirPod in your ear and the other one you're sharing, you can activate noise cancellation individually. And if you want the noise cancellation, again, this will help improve the audio quality. Although you still have noise, of course, because you only have one on, but having noise cancellation on that one AirPod would actually improve the audio quality. And I prefer this rather than not having the option to activate noise cancellation if I'm sharing AirPods. Now we all have that one person that connects their iPhone to an external speaker. You're all listening to music, but then they get a text or they're looking for more music and all you can hear is the keyboard clicks. Just like that. 
Well, this can actually be turned off. A lot of people do not know that if you go to the audio sound settings right here, to the sound and heptic settings, you can scroll all the way down and you see that you have the keyboard clicks, you can turn it off, and you can also turn off the lock sound. So when you lock your device, that sound that you hear can also be turned off. So everyone, do your friend a favor, that person that's always typing when you're listening to music while connected to an external speaker, tell them to turn that off. We all have a ton of text messages, and with text messages, there's attachments, there's videos, there's photos. Where can you find all of these attachments, videos, photos, conversation in one place? Where there's actually somewhere in iOS that this is all stored, and you can recover it as well in some cases. So head on over to General, you want to head on over to iPhone Storage, and under iPhone Storage, you want to find the Messages extension. This is where you'll find, again, all of your pictures for your messages, all of your videos, as you can see here, the conversation. So go into the photos here. You can find every single picture that was sent to you, the date with also date and memory size that it's taking up, as well as GIF stickers and videos as well. So you can find out all this information. Again, this is going to be under general iPhone storage, and you can head on over to the messages extension to find all of your attachments under the messages application. Very, very useful option there as well. Not a lot of people know about this one. Let me know what you think about these iPhone tricks. Did you know all of them? Which ones did you not know? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you real soon. Peace.